Hello, hello, Miss G here. Welcome back to Learning with Miss G for another fun story time. Is it cold where you guys are right now? It might be cold, and if it's cold, you might be having a bit of snow, and I love to make snowmen. Today I'm reading a fun story called The Biggest Snowman. It's written by Stephen Kroll, and the illustrator who drew the pictures is Jenny Bassett. Are you ready to read? Let's get started. The Biggest Snowman Ever Once there were two mice who fell in love with the same snowman, and this is how it happened. On a bright winter day, the mayor of Mouseville announced the Town Snowman Contest. Whoever makes the biggest snowman will win a prize, he declared. All the mice were so excited. The judging of the contest will take place in two weeks, said the mayor. Good luck to you all. I'm going to make a really big snow princess, said Penelope. I'm going to make a really big snow Martian, said James. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever, said Clayton, the house mouse. His friend Desmond, the field mouse, frowned. No, you're not. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever. Oh yeah, said Clayton. Oh yeah, said Desmond. They both want to make the biggest snowman ever. That night it snowed and snowed. Huge drifts covered driveways, roads, and fields. It was the perfect beginning for a snowman contest. In town, Penelope began her snow princess and James began his snow Martian. Out in the country, Clayton and Desmond began their snowmen. So everybody's working really hard to make their snowmen. Clayton made a snowball and rolled it along the ground. The more he rolled it, the bigger it got. Before long, he had a large base for his snowman. It's getting pretty big. Not far away, Desmond was doing the same thing. He was also rolling a snowball to make the base for his snowman. The next day, Clayton made a huge snowball for his snowman's belly. Not far away, Desmond did the same thing. That night, Clayton brought his dad out to see his snowman. Dad scratched his head. I don't know, son. It's going to be big but I'm not sure it will be the biggest. Clayton smiled up at him. I'm just getting started, he said. Dad whispered in his ear, if you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. A little later, Desmond brought out his Uncle Vernon. I don't know, said Uncle Vernon. It's going to be big, but will it be the biggest? Desmond smiled. I'm just getting started, Uncle Vernon. Vernon whispered in his ear, If you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. I wonder if he will use a wheelbarrow now. The next day, Clayton filled his wheelbarrow with snow. He piled the snow onto the snowman. Then he rolled another snowball for the snowman's head. Not far away, Desmond did the same thing. They're both using wheelbarrows. A few days later, Desmond ran into town to look at James's snow Martian and Penelope's snow princess. Hmm, he said, all of our snow people are the same size. That afternoon, Clayton made the same discovery. Oh. All of the snow people look the same size, Clayton thought. The next day, while working on his snowman, Clayton had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Desmond. At the same time, Desmond had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Clayton. And boop! They bumped into each other and fell down. 
I have an idea, said Clayton. I have an idea, said Desmond. We should do this together, said Clayton. No one said we couldn't, said Desmond. So now they're coming up with a plan to work together. First, they rolled each part of Desmond's snowman over to the middle of the field. Then they rolled each part of Clayton's snowman. They piled the snowballs on top of one another. Clayton dropped the floppy hat on the snowman's head. Desmond added a long scarf, huge coal eyes, and a giant carrot nose. Whoa, he's looking big. When they were done, they had built the biggest snowman ever. Look how large it is. The morning of the contest, field mice on snowmobiles brought the judges to the country. They're riding really quickly to go out and see which snowman is the biggest. You both win a prize, said the mayor, handing Clayton and Desmond a large wedge of Swiss cheese. Let the celebration begin. Everyone gathered to dance around the snowman, drink hot chocolate, and eat donuts. Sounds like a pretty fun celebration. We did it, said Clayton and Desmond, jumping up and down. We did it together. And that, my friends, is the end of The Biggest Snowman Ever. I hope you like this story. It's a really fun winter kind of story. And maybe you'll get to make a snowman pretty soon. If you like this video, please like it, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll never miss when I'm going to upload a new story time video or some other fun kind of stuff videos. All right, my friends, I'm going to sing the goodbye song, and I'll see you next time right here in Learning with Miss G. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. See you again, my friends. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you next time.